What's up guys, this is Dennis from Botster and in this quick video I'm going to show you how to forward emails to Slack to channels or users of a team. Before I continue, please support the channel by liking this video and if you would like to see more bots and automation tutorials in the future, go ahead and subscribe to our channel right now. Don't forget to check out our extensive collection of bots and automations, link in the description and if you have a request, go ahead, leave a comment, tell me what you're looking for and we'll see if we can make that happen. Okay, now let's go back to the bot. And the first thing that you will need to do is obviously sign up for Botster. You will get free test credits to test the bot out. And the bot itself is called Messengers Forwarder. Here it is, email to Messengers Forwarder. I just released a video tutorial about how to forward emails to Telegram Messenger. And this is basically the same bot. We're just going to use it to forward emails to Slack instead of Telegram. But if you're a Telegram user, go ahead, watch that tutorial. It may be helpful for you as well. So I'm not going to go through the documentation, but in case you need a thorough step-by-step -step process, it's all right here. Go ahead, read that. And I'm just going to skip that and click the start bot button. Don't forget to name your job. Let's give it a test title, emails to Slack forwarding test, if I could spell it. And now let's scroll down and click on the Slack tab right here. Let's click the send notifications to Slack checkbox. And now let's connect to Slack. Click allow. It's going to redirect you back to the bot and you may need to click this checkbox again, but now you can see that the bot has connected to your team and from this drop down list you can now select which channels or users you would like to forward these emails to. So I'm going to click on it and select the email forward channel which I made exclusively for this video. Now let's scroll further down and let me explain to you how this bot technically works. It's not complicated at all, so bear with me. The bot will create a dedicated email address, which looks like this. So the email itself is just a bunch of random characters, at parse.botster.io. Now, after you start the bot by clicking the start this bot button, this email will be connected to this channel, which you selected in the previous step. So every email that hits this email box will get forwarded into this channel or username for that matter. Sounds easy enough if you ask me. So let's uh, go on. And uh, now you can select whether you want to forward file attachments and forward the email subject as well. I'm going to check both to show you 100% of the functionality in this video. So everything looks good. We gave our job a title. We connected to our Slack team. We selected a channel to which we will be forwarding the emails. We have our email that will be assigned to us. Don't worry, you don't have to remember it right now. It will be uh, repeated in the next step as well. So there is no point of writing it down or anything like that. And finally, we uh, selected that we want the file attachments and email subject forwarded along with the email text. Let's go ahead and click the start this bot button. You can see that the job was created and is now active. This means that the bot is listening for the incoming emails on this address. You can now copy this address by just clicking on it. And let's open our email client and send a test email. Okay, let's paste the address that the bot generated for us. Let's create a test subject. Test forward to Slack channel, add some random text, and let's also attach a file to it. Looks like the email is ready, so let's hit the send button and open our Slack channel. As you can see, the email was successfully forwarded, but with an exception. 
So let's go over the information and try and understand what went wrong and what we need to do. So first off, notice that the Boster IO application had been added to your team. Second, have a look at the forwarded information. You can see that the text information was forwarded successfully, which is subject of the email along with the email body. However, the file wasn't attached and that happened because to forward files to a channel, you need to invite the Botster IO application into that channel. So here's the command that you need to enter that will be provided in case you forget to do that. So let's copy that paste it in here and hit the enter button. Okay, you can see that Boster IO was added to our channel, which means we can now try and forward the file attachment one more time. So let's navigate back to the website, copy the generated email one more time by clicking on it, open our email client, test email number two, test text number two and let's attach the file once again send switch to our slack channel and you can see that now the file was attached successfully here is the email subject here's the email body and your file attachment which you can now of course download by pressing this button before you go, another cool thing that you can do is you can click on this job title right here and view all the details about the current running job. You can find things like total emails parse, you can find the uh, graph of uh, the email, you can study your monitoring log with all the text from the forwarded emails right here. You can edit the settings of the job and you can uh, enable other notifications, for example, if you would like to send the emails uh, from this address to Telegram as well, or maybe you would like to self-destruct this job after a certain period of time. So I urge you to explore different options and see what's working for you and make the best of it. Well, this is practically it. Make sure to like this video if you found it to be useful. If you have any comments or questions, you know where the comment box is. And of course, subscribe to our channel if you would like to see more bots and automation content in the future. Bye-bye.